Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to make a quick video about the recent announcement by Texas Governor Rick Gardasil Perry to enter the Republican presidential field. And ever since Saturday when Ron Paul came in a very close, he was in second place, almost came in first uh, in that Ames, Iowa straw poll, the media strangely, well I guess not strangely, it's kind of expected, ignored his uh, close win anyway and they decided to skip over you know talk about Bachman who came in first place she was able to buy a bunch of votes we know that that's on record um, and then skip over Paul who almost came in first place so he came in second and instead they skip over to losers like Tim Pawlenty some guy who dropped out yesterday you know somebody nobody cared about uh, they decided to talk about how this is great for Rick Santorum uh, the annoying former senator from Pennsylvania, the neocon warmongering psychopath. I mean, that's when I see this guy, he's a psychopath. I don't understand him. He's just crazy. Um, and now the mainstream media has now declared that there is a top tier of presidential candidates. Now, ever since, and they're saying in like all these headlines and everything, in the newspapers and on television news, on internet news, they're all saying... There's a top tier three candidates in the GOP field now. It's Bachman versus Perry versus Romney. Uh, where the hell is Ron Paul mentioned in here? <laughs> this guy has more support than... I mean, are you kidding? I've never seen anybody get enthusiastic about Mitt Romney. I mean, who gets enthusiastic about Mitt Romney? I mean, I see... If it's anybody to get enthusiastic about, it's Ron Paul, and I see it. It's out there, and it's visible, and they're ignoring it. Mainstream media is ignoring this. And I, I think I made a video a couple of days ago, and it's received a few thousand hits so far, and I just it was like a minute clip of me showing you guys um, this article that was posted by Politico.com that the headline was Bachman comes in first place at I Ames, Iowa straw poll and Tim Pawlenty gets third and they completely ignored Ron Paul's close win. Completely ignored. So here's an example of another stupid mainstream article. Mainstream. MSNBC, a, a site nobody really goes to. I mean, I check it out a lot. I've been doing this for years, so I'm just used to it. It says, uh... Now the headline is Bachman not even in the race. Despite the Minnesota's rep, Minnesota reps gains, Perry and Romney are the true contenders. So, I mean, who, who declares this? Oh, some chick at the National Journal. Real conservative. And they're saying how... Um, see, now they're even taking out uh, Michelle Bachman. I mean, she's milquetoast compared to Ron Paul. She's a fake constitutionalist a fake tea partier, but they're propping her up there and saying, well, you know, they propped her up over the weekend, now they're trying to take her down. Like, well, okay, let's just stick to Romney and Perry. And let's see. I want to find the part in this article that was just hysterical. Oh, here. The Republican nominee and the next president of the United States is going to be Rick Perry or Mitt Romney, said Fred Malik, whoever the hell that is. Um, let's see. He was a, oh, he was a t top Republican money man who ran George H.W. Bush's presidential campaign in 1992. Oh, great. Uh, okay, let's see. Da -da -da. Okay, see. And then he says Republican, and then some other uh, Republican strategist for Bush says Republicans feel that if we lose the election, we lose the country. So put up... An annoying douchebag like Rick Perry, who pushed Gardasil on sixth grade girls back in 2007. By the way, I'm going to get to that in another video. Um, and, you know, prop him up because we don't want to lose. We don't want to get a good person. We got to get someone like Rick Perry or some stooge like Mitt Romney. We got to make them win. We don't want Obama for another four years. Look, I don't care. If any of these guys, even if Bachman, somehow gets the nomination, which won't happen, I'm not voting for whoever they are, whoever the GOP nominee is. If it's not Ron Paul, I'm not voting for them. Period. You can count my vote out. Unless Gary Johnson somehow comes out of nowhere, but that's not going to happen. I know that. I like the guy. But, I mean, it's bad enough for Ron Paul. He's not going to get any attention at all. He's done. Um, 
I'm just not going to vote for whoever the GOP nominee is. If it's not Paul, I'm not voting for them. Definitely not voting for Obama, of course. So I guess I'll just have to either vote third party or write in Ron Paul's name. It's as simple as that. And yeah, I mean, these articles, I just read article after article after article. I read the paper this morning. It was a USA Today. Same type of article talking about how the top three candidates are Perry Romney Bachman and and, you know, they probably made a slight mention of Paul, and it's about how, well, he has a cult-like following, but it's very small, and it's marginal. I mean, it's so stupid. So, um, you know, I, they just piss me off because they're leaving him out in every every article I read. They're leaving him out. Uh, so, you know, what are you going to do? Well, that's right. When the primaries come around next year, we got to get revved up, and we got to go out there and we got to vote for Ron Paul. And it doesn't matter if you if it's just one vote, if it it doesn't matter. You got to go out there and do this. Or else you're going to have the brainwashed Republican seg the segment of the Republican party, the people who only pay attention to Fox News and kind of listen to Limbaugh's crap. Uh, they're going to go out and vote for Rick Perry. Rick Gardasil Perry. You're going to go vote for Rick selling public roads to private companies Perry. Okay? And I can tell you this right now, if we do not step up, we, if we do not step this up, it's, it's not enough to sit behind a computer and bitch about how Ron Paul's not getting enough attention. We can't just do that anymore. I've been doing that, but I can't do that anymore. I, it's, it's not enough if you sit on your butt for too long and you just complain about it like you guys did back in 2007, 2008 when he, was, when he lost the primaries. It wasn't enough to just sit around and lose. We know this. And back then, to be honest with you, I wasn't a Ron Paul supporter. I was, you know, just kind of like in the mainstream at the time. You know, thank God I was only like 15 years old and, you know, I wised up in just a few years. Um, so, yeah, not enough. And I've got to make a ton of video updates for you guys um, up until the primary season, which is like six or seven months away. I mean, we've got a long time to go. And uh, to get ready for this. And I'm serious. We've got to make Ron Paul a very serious contender. If they don't think this is enough, some little straw poll that the media hyped up over the weekend, and they don't think it's enough for him to almost get first place, we got to go the extra mile. we got to go the extra mile. CNN admitted that they're trying to hide Ron Paul, that there is this conspiracy. So please, uh, do what you can. And get the message out. Thank you for watching.